So we started with a quite ambitious question. How can we connect an organization with 24,000 people spread across the world to a single brand? We decided to focus on two collectives within Repsol, where an improvement to their experience would have the greatest potential impact. So the first group we wanted to work with was the managers. An improvement to their experience has a direct impact on the professional development of not just that person, but everyone else working with them. The second group was the expat community, which includes people uh, working on the fields, uh, working offshore, working in remote cities. But anyways, for both of these groups, uh, Repsol was committed to be there for their people. What was really interesting about the process we used for the Repsol Employee Experience Project, I would say was twofold. The first one, given that the audiences we had for the project were both managers and expats, it was extremely important to get under the skin of those employees. What are their ambitions? What are their dreams? The wants, the needs, the challenges they face in their daily lives. Um, so for that, we used a series of research tools we use to really do this under the skin. The other thing that was extremely interesting about the project is that we used Scrum, uh, the Agile methodology, for the entire process of the project. Actually, this made it much more agile, as it's actually known for. Uh, we worked in sprint fashion, and, uh, and I think probably that was also one of the reasons that it made it very, very successful. Rather than having one or two initiatives, we leverage the uh, Scrum methodology to um, ideate and evaluate the, these initiatives. Uh, through uh, some sprint sessions, we helped uh, the Repsol team um, develop these initiatives to take them to the next level of implementation. 